and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop and welcome to issue number 31 of Build Your Own Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 1967 from the wonderful folks at Diagostini. Now, if you'd like to build one of these one six scale Mustangs, click this link all the way along here. It's also in the description below, folks. Head over to Diagostini and subscribe to this beautiful, beautiful car. I don't think you're going to be disappointed, folks. Let's have a look. Four runners of the SUV. Sports utility vehicle is a relatively recent development, but as far back as the 50s, some American car makers had seen there was a market for a comfortable, stylish, well-equipped vehicles with good off-road capabilities. So yeah, right in the 50s, they were starting this, the ute, as they would call it in Australia, in the Ford pickup. Iconic things, aren't they? El Caminos as well. This was the Ranchero from 59. Uh, this is today's Ford Rancheros, a much sought after by collectors. Some of the cars, such as this 57, seen here on display, have been perfectly restored. Beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, General Motors responded with its Chevrolet El Camino, folks. Yeah, look at them. And it's back in the days with the big fins on the back. It's beautiful, do not they? Stunning, stunning vehicle. Big curved rear window there as well on the cab. Today we've got the lower rear axle as well as the differential case cover. Nice simple issue this one folks. A few screws there and this will just click in place. So it's a nice easy one today. I think it's the calm before the storm myself. So it's telling you what you need to do and what you're going to end up with at the end of this issue folks. Okay. Next up, you've got the Ford XR series of cars, uh, affordable basic uh, hatchbacks, or in the UK we call them the hot hatches. Uh, it had exclusive bumpers, black wheel arches, and quirky pepper pot alloy wheels, as we called them in the UK. And uh, yeah, they was inherited from the original XR2, and this was based on the Fiesta of its day. Then you had the Escort XR3 and the Sierra XR4i. Oh my God, I think I had one of each at one stage. Yeah, so yeah, they were the cars to have back in the day. Uh, the XR2i launched in 89, had a 1.6 injection engine and include bumpers with additional square double headlights. Yes, over the years they did many body changes and upgrades, but yeah. Uh, XR in the US was the Mercury XR7. Look at that. Looks stunning, doesn't it, folks? I like the wheels as well. Uh, that was the Escort that I was on about, the XR3i. Yeah, there you go. A constant motion, as they called them. Alloy wheels. So, yeah. Remember them. Also had the Orion gear air injection as well some peculiar cars over the years that was this sierra xr4 with the twin rear spoiler yeah i had it for a year and i, just, I don't know i just didn't feel it and these are the australian xrs now they know how to put a big old beefy car on the road as well don't they the aussies it's the ford falcon uh was launched in australia in the 60s Ford Falcon can be spotted as the mad max interceptor car from the movies folks that was a Ford falcon so yeah, stunning car. And the Australians are either Ford or Holden. You can't be both. It's quite a battle out there as to what you are. But it says flick back and see what we're assembling today, which is this. So we'll get all the bits and pieces out. When we come back, we'll put that together for you, folks. Right, this is what we've got. So we want to grab the differential housing, which is this piece here. Turn it round and we want to put these two screws just in the back there. These are PS11s, folks, okay? We'll just drop a bit of oil on them like that. And we'll put them in like so. 
and just let them home quite nicely. A little bit of oil on there. And do the same on that one. So just spin it round. And then bring it into play like so. And just let the screw bottom out. That's all you want. Okay? Like that. You're basically putting the top hat on there, on the inside of the differential housing. So that these will then be retained in the notch in the front of this piece, okay? So it wants 31A like so, okay? And then we'll put the differential in these two notches just there, folks, okay? So it's telling us to hold it that way up with the mounts facing down, which is what we've got. And then you want this with this up looking like an upside down letter T. Okay, and you're sliding that into that notch, just like that. Okay, that's all you're doing in this issue, folks. Just resting that in that notch. And then when you get the other half of that, that'll close that off quite nicely. Okay, so that's what you'll end up with at the end of this issue, folks. Nice and simple. Little bit of rear axle and differential assembly. Getting ready then for the stages where we start putting the rear suspension in the one sixth scale Mustang. Right, folks, if you'd like to grab this for yourself, this part work, head over to this link here. It's also clickable in the description below. Go over to the Diagostini website and subscribe to this beautiful 1.6 scale full Mustang. You won't be disappointed, folks. Also, to help me out, you could just click that little fester there in the corner and subscribe to the channel. Helps me channel grow. I massively appreciate it. And also ring that little bell in the corner, folks, to uh, get be notified of any future content. So until the next time, folks, stay safe and well. Bye-bye for now.